Hey guys, um, I'm out here on a coyote hunt today, um, and I just kind of had a little, a little minor situation that I thought I'd talk about, uh, you know, before I got started out here. Um, I ran into a, a small issue. Uh, my hunting um, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm recording with my phone just because it's what's at hand. But uh, my hunting blind here is not really set up for the angle that I need. Um, there's been a coyote coming and going out that direction. And uh, this tarp over the top of the hunting blind was dropped down. Uh, so I couldn't see out this angle, and I needed some cordage to kind of pull that up up there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, we're out of time up there. Um, and sorry for all the ums. I know better than to do that. But what we have is I, I went through all my gear and had like zero cordage. And I wanted to talk for just a second about the kind of cordage I used to, uh, to string that up. This carry a lot uh, is this waxed twine, and you can get like a thousand yards of it for like ten bucks. It's super strong, super strong, and very lightweight, and I've just got it bound to my sheath down here. So that's what I used up there and I really recommend it because it doesn't take up any space as you can see it takes up like no space on the uh, on the sheath and uh, it and like I said it's just incredibly strong so and it and, and this emphasizes the point of you know why you should you know be redundant with cordage and you know fire sources and that sort of thing um, even even if it's not a live or die situation they can be really really handy okay well i'm gonna get off here that's all for now uh, i just wanted to talk about that just briefly um, i'm gonna get back to this and see if i can't help out with the with the coyote problem around here a little bit thanks for your time bye